If you're a computer science student who's completely rethinking his life by seeing these $2 billion job offers and want to become a researcher, then let me give you a reality check. The average PhD makes about $60,000 a year, while the average computer science PhD makes $100,000 a year. And this isn't to discourage you, but I think coming into the research career with a mindset of, oh, I'm going to make 100 mil from this is the wrong mindset to have. I get asked this question a lot by friends of, what do you think about these $2 billion and $100 million job offers? That's, that's double what LeBron makes, don't, don't you feel bad? And frankly, I really don't care. And this is coming from someone who co-authored three AI research papers back in college and got a top conference out of that as well. Yes, it's true. The top 0.1% of AI research scientists at Meta, Google, they can easily clear half a mil or even in the millions if you count their stock. That said, those positions are typically only open to researchers who've published in top journals, as well as typically come from top CS computer science PhD programs. The combination of which is very, very rare to have because progr those programs have typically single digit acceptance rates, even among undergrads who've already published in top journals. So it's a very small elite group of people who can even get the chance to interview for these types of positions. While the guy who turned down the $2 billion job offer, it sounds stupid to most people. Having worked with my professors, I can completely understand why he did that because he loves research and academics so much that he doesn't want money to get in the way of things. This is why Grigory Perelman, who won the Fields Medal for Mathematics for solving the Poincaré conjecture, also turned down a million dollar award prize and kind of lives a very humble life because they loved reading research papers in their free time after school and they just couldn't do anything else but absorb knowledge and create knowledge for the world. And if that doesn't sound like you, then there's plenty of other ways you can make $2 billion from, don't worry. You should only pursue a PhD if you genuinely love reading academic research in your free time, especially papers that aren't popular right now. And if you wanna learn more about AI in general, you can follow my page for more content.